Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Kat. Um, today we are going to work on our back and leg flexibility in a kind of in a combined way. So these are for, you know, if you're trying to get your scorpion or any type of like back leg extension, this video is gonna be really helpful for you. Just make sure your body's really warm so that you can get the most out of this. Cold muscles are really hard to stretch and they also get injured, so we definitely don't want that. But let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is just start to stretch out our legs. So we're gonna start in butterfly. So bring your heels together in front of you. Good, lean your back into it for a deeper stretch. And push your knees down. Good, and then slide your legs out a little bit more and lean forward. Awesome, now go into pike. And stretch forward on pike. Stretch out your hamstrings a little bit. Good. And let's flex and go down with a flat back. Stretch out the back of our legs some more. Perfect. Good. Now roll out your neck to the right. A few times. And to the left. Awesome. Okay, good. Now we're going to go into our splits. So let's go ahead and go into our right split. Um, as we get started, you can start to get a feel for the level of our this video. And if, it's, if it seems too challenging for you, then there's a ton of other videos leading up to this one that you can watch. So slide into your right split. Good, and make sure you're squared. Your hips are squared to the front. I always like to do everything with my toes pointed and my legs straight, um, just to get into the habit of good technique always. Someone told me once, it's not practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice makes perfect. So you wanna practice how you wanna perform, right? So let's go to the other side. Good, square your hips to the front. Good. Now go back to your right split. And I want you to lean forward on your leg. And grab your foot or your heel and just bring your nose down towards your leg. Good. Now you can arch back just to get your back warm. Bring your leg up if you want to. Good. Now go to the other side. Good, and lean forward on your leg. And arch back. Good, now we're gonna go into middle. So bring your legs out wide. And let's stretch to the right. Try to grab your foot if you can. Good. And stretch to the left. Very good, bring your, pull yourself towards your leg. Awesome. Now we're gonna slide forward. So just crawl out to the front. Good. And you wanna try and go over. Even if you're not all the way flat, if your hips are high, you still wanna try and go over so you really get that deep stretch in your um, hips. Good. Awesome. Now bring it in. Shake it out. Good. Now let's get into some back stretches. Um, we're gonna go into, let's start on our hips, actually, on our, facing the mat, and we're just gonna start with a um, basic arch. So just bring your head back. Good. And you can bring your feet up if you want. Awesome. Now let's go back into child's pose. Good, now we're gonna go into our bridge. There are several ways to get into it. You can go um, into your bridge from the floor or I like to just pop up into it. So that's what I'm gonna do, like so. Okay, now I wanna really get my back stretched out so I'm going to rock back and forth. This really stretches out your shoulders, your back, 
and your arms at the same time, which you're gonna need to do. Good, and kind of walk into your hands. Good. Another good one is bring your feet together and you're gonna plie your booty a little bit. Good. Come back down. Awesome. Now kind of just stretch out your arms a little bit. You can bring it across your chest. Good. Good. We're gonna go back into bridge again just to do a little more stretching with our back and then we're gonna go onto our elbows just for a deeper stretch. So up, go back up and down to your elbows. Good. And try to rock a little bit. Good. And I'll come back down. Awesome, and then I'm gonna just stretch it out the opposite way by doing a little pike stretch really quickly. That feels good. And roll it up. Okay, now we're going to deepen our leg stretches by doing some over splits. If I were doing this specifically to make my legs more flexible, I would be doing my over splits for a long time, for two minutes or so, but right now I'm just trying to do a quick um, stretch just to get my legs warmed up to do more things. So I'm gonna put my right leg up on the bench here. You can use a chair, you can use mats, you can use an ottoman or whatever you kind of find around your house. And try and stay squared towards your leg. And just feel that stretch. If you don't feel anything, you can add another level or go down further. And try to lean forward on your leg. Good and you're gonna arch back. Good job. Okay, now bring it in, shake it out, and we're gonna do the same on the left. So find your chair or your bench or your mats or your block or whatever you have that is good for your level of flexibility and we're gonna go into left over split. And I always tell people, if you're trying to get more flexible, do your over splits every day. Good, lean forward. And arch back. Very good. You should really start to feel a pretty good stretch with those and continuing to those continuing to do all of those things we just did are going to really increase your flexibility for this specific video um, I, I'm going to show you a different way to do over splits as well because it's also pretty good for stretching your back out at the same time and you can do this anytime as well it's a good stretch to do so you're going to put your back leg this time on the bench or whatever raised surface that you have so this time I'm going to start with left my bad leg, so I'm gonna get it out of the way. So I'm gonna put my right foot on my bench right here, like so, and we're gonna do over splits just backwards. So I'm gonna slide into my left split. And this is good because it just gives you a natural opportunity to like stretch your back at the same time. Good. And then come down from that one. And we're gonna switch legs. So put your left foot or your other foot on the bench. Good, and then we're just gonna slide into our right over split that way. This is really good if you're trying to do, um, make your leaps better um, because you're getting that extra stretch on your back leg that you normally don't. So you're you know, it'll help lift up your back leg and your leaps. Good. Okay, bring that down. And just shake it out. And we're gonna lean forward again, stretch it out forward. 
Good. Let's do some kicks and you know warm up our legs even more. So we're gonna start on our knees, our hands and knees, and we're going to do 10 kicks to the back with straight legs, um, starting with, I'm gonna start with my right leg. So we're just gonna kick up. Kick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, 10, good. Other leg, keep your legs straight and your toes pointed. And kick up one, two, three, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very good. Now we're gonna do the same but with a bent leg. So we're gonna do a ring kick. Starting with my right, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now we're gonna do our other leg. Point it behind you. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's hard to count and kick at the same time. Okay, very good. Okay, so we are about to do some moves against the wall, which is why I'm over here now. So I would find a wall, and we're gonna start with some ponche kicks. So I'm, we're gonna head down and touch the ground with both your hands and keep your left leg flat. And you're gonna point your right foot back, like so, good. And then you're gonna go ahead and do 10 kicks straight behind you. Good. Good. Seven and eight and nine, and 10, and hold it up there. Bring your nose to your knee. Get that extra stretch. Good, and bring it down. And we're going to do the other side. Okay, now we're going to keep our right foot flat. Bend over with both hands on the ground. Point your left leg back, and 10 kicks to the back. Keep your toes pointed. One, two, three, good. Four, keep your legs straight. Five, good. Kick as hard as you can. Seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Hold it up. Nose to your knee, bend your leg. Good. And roll up. Okay, very awesome. Good job, guys. So now we're going to stretch against the wall. So let's start with our left leg back. Our right leg's gonna be a few, about a foot and a half or so in front of the wall. So we're going to do the splits basically against the wall. Put your left leg behind you. And slide back. Good. Just like that. Just stretch into that. And for the next level, we're gonna go ahead and Put our right leg on the wall and bring our left over. That way you get a good back and leg stretch at the same time. Good. Now put your left leg down and stretch against the wall with your right leg up. So lean into that. Good, that should be a pretty good stretch. Good, and then you're gonna put your left leg on the wall, crawl out, and bring the right leg over your head. Good, both feet down. Okay, awesome guys, so those are some moves that you can definitely do consistently to really, you know, take your flexibility up to the next level. Um, all the kicks that we did in Ponche and on our knees, you can do them against the wall. Um, I like to do them sometimes over a table so that my leg has more room to even go further. So you can kind of take these exercises and be creative with them. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Keep coming back and practicing these until you feel really comfortable and then you can watch my more advanced 
um, videos which will come next with you know grabbing your leg and all kinds of fun tricks. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. This video is part of my Secrets of Flexibility course where I share the stretches and secrets that helped me as a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader and throughout my years as a competitive gymnast and professional dancer. You'll learn how to do the splits, oversplits, scorpion, and much more.